Oh, no, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're back with another fantasy football show. Welcome. It is uh, Wednesday. I had to think about it for a second, so that means it's not, a, not a strong wow. start at all. It, was it, was like, it is, is uh, Wednesday. It is <laughs> wow. Wednesday? It's the day we usually do it. Uh, just yeah. keep it on track. <laughs> had a week 11. We'll get got a jam-packed show. We'll get some injury rundown. Plenty of uh, backup quarterbacks to debate and their fantasy impacts. Uh, what's new with you, Justin? What's new with me? Uh, yeah. I'm fighting for my life in my home league right now. We were just talking about it before we started. Uh, it's I'm on the struggle bus. Start. I might start Trenton Irwin for two consecutive weeks. That's hey, how it worked bad. last week. I, I did work. I, he's, well, you he scored a touchdown. I'm like, that's all I can ever ask for somebody. I'm just throwing in, praying for. But yeah, uh, I don't know if I don't know if that'll happen twice. But we'll it's see. It's a guaranteed six points. That's all you ask for. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah if you can give yeah. me, if you can give me over five, when I just feel like I'm I'm punting that position. I'll take yeah. it. We'll, we'll make something else work, and I'll just hope somebody else can carry the load. Absolutely. You've heard a touchdown dependent tight ends. How about wide receivers? <laughs> That's a yeah. new category you're unlocking there. You should have any time touchdown him, too, for some money if you were that confident. In playing. Oh, I wasn't. You were going to start him, and he's guaranteed at least only six <laughs> points. Right? I promise you, the way this has been going, if I start you, I probably just bet the under. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and just hedge. That kind That's of year, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> uh, well, uh on a short week, uh, I Sovis is out. They're uh, their rookie wide receiver for the Bengals. And then T. Higgins obviously rolled out with the hamstring. Uh, better chance at next week for T. Higgins. But Trent Irwin streaming opportunity. He's alive, alive again. He's live. Yeah. Live. I don't know. We'll see. I think what wasn't it last week on Twitter? You were debating him or Ty J. Spears. Yeah. Yeah. And it, in Ty J. Spears got some yards. He was starting started to get some catches at the end of that game. And I was like, all right. But yeah, uh, I think I think Irwin only got two, like two catches. One was a touchdown and one was like 20 yards. So it's like, right. okay, that's the, I'll live with that. That's fine. That's good enough now, exactly. I can't tell Will Levis, now that we've learned how to say his name, it's not Levis Levis, uh, is good for Ty J Spears or not. I feel like... No. No. I don't think he's... A, he's on a check down all-star no. like Tannehill is, you know? like he's a, he's like, a, That's what's sustaining him. Yeah. It's like, he yeah. get the check downs and take it like 60 yards because he's shifty. But yeah, Levis is just looking deep every play, so... RIP, didn't really been, hasn't owners. been really working the last couple of weeks. He had a first good week, but like, yeah, he needs to, you need to operate the whole field sometimes, you know, throw the tight end a little bit. I was just trying to corner the market right before the trade deadline, just throwing crazy offers for Derrick Henry because he was apparently going to be on the Ravens. And then now, nope, I you're still on the needed table. That. <laughs> I needed yeah, that. I needed that. Trade, I needed yeah. that for my season. I don't know. I don't want to rely on injuries because I do have a lot of like lottery ticket running backs at this point. I'm just praying. I, I don't, but I don't, well, I'm not praying for injury, but I'm just hoping that something pans out to, to kind of fill some of the holes. But I just want to make the playoffs. I, I feel like my team is, is good enough it, when it comes playoff time, to, like the matchup wise. But I got to make the playoffs to make some noise, and I'm like out here just struggling. So we'll it's see. that weird mo- midpoint of the season where you're like, "Do I need to buy wins?" I mean, my my uh, yeah. deadlines this week. I talked last week, last podcast. Uh, everybody heard my hot dog saga, which I've climbed my way to tenth place in a twelve. Hey, season, so. there we go. All right, looking on the up with no up. trades. But, yeah, you with just no trades. Your own hat. team, yeah. But it's now good. the trade deadline's like two days from now, so I'm like. Now do I need to? Sell? Now you're itching. You're like, I gotta do something. And I'm looking at the schedule. I'm like, can I sneak into the playoffs? Somehow? That's when you gotta be careful, though. You gotta make some <laughs> yeah. dumb trades. You and gotta then it's make gonna sure. end up yeah. ending me back in last place. Exactly. So I'm, I'm staying yeah. a pat. But uh, I bet you a hundred dollars. I'm gonna make a dumb trade before the trade you deadline are. for That's, my league. You're oh the yeah. Mentality. Yeah. You make three <laughs> trades. Two of them are dumb. One. I gotta do like, one. Oh, I gotta do one. Yeah. Yeah. That's how this works. Taylor's the analytics. Justin's the trades. And I don't know. I'm the even keel trying to avoid hot dogs guy. That's that's we need every every team needs one of those <laughs> described perfectly. We need to <laughs> avoid those hot dogs. Dude. Yeah, basketball, football, it's multi sport. You need to avoid hot dogs. So, yep. <laughs> uh, Deshaun Watson, rough news for any fantasy owners that saw a glimmer of hope from him and the Browns offense out for the season with that chip fracture in his shoulder. Uh, basically, just could get worse by him playing on it. So, regular season's done, maybe an outside chance of the playoffs, but rough news for him. The uh, glimmer was real, right? The glimmer was real. Dude. I mean, he. I don't get how he was awful, normal Deshaun Watson in the first half, like six of twenty, and then fourteen of fourteen in the second half. We're just getting the stigma that he didn't want to like play or whatever. But I mean, he was fourteen, like you said, fourteen. He was like unbelievably. He was locked in. Yeah, he had the he high was... ankle too. He was running on it. Still had a yeah. big run to set up the game-winning field goal. It's like, and then out, <laughs> just yeah. out. And then it's DTR and PJ Walker down the stretch. So he got know. paid though. So streaming? good for him. He got paid. <laughs> he, right, he got paid to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like. 
any Amari Cooper owner has just been on a roller coaster all year. It's like PJ's good for him. Oh no, Deshaun's back. That's not good. Now it's DTR. What are we doing? It's just a different person <laughs> almost every other week. Yeah, yeah. It's just hard to deal with. Jerome Ford was looking like a good back too with Deshaun Watson, the the threat of throwing, you know, he had 100 yards not this something week. he had with yeah. PJ Walker. So right. yeah, I, I've been very interested in Ford all season long, and I don't know how to feel like I'm honestly. I still think he gets a decent. I think he's good enough. I, I that he's going to get some. Not, he's going to get the a load, a job, but right? yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe you you could. I don't know. See, this is just me talking as a trader. Like you might be able to like buy low. Be like, hey, your quarterback's gone. Maybe I mean, you could do much worse at running back than than Jerome Ford because you couldn't buy Jerome Ford before Deshaun Watson goes out. But then now the owners are probably like, I don't know what that offense is going to look like. So they're going to just run the ball probably on that insecurity. Yeah, he had five. He has five hundred thirty yards and two touchdowns this year, and he's got a bunch of receiving as well. Like he's been sustainable. If you lost Chubb or if you know other other running backs like Dobbins. Yeah, he had the ankle, but now he's looking looking better off that. So, it's... all right, rest of season, who would you rather have, uh, Jerome Ford or Tony Pollard? Uh, I would rather have. Oh, uh, <laughs> I think it's Tony Pollard. Yeah. At least like he's going to be near the end zone more, probably. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather have. I think I'd rather have Jerome Ford because at least <laughs> he's gonna, it's, it's a crazy. I have a dud. I have, have a dud that rhymes with Pollard. So, yeah. oh wow, <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's amazing. Foreshadowing. Uh, no, but um. I don't know, because Ford, like you said, once Walker comes in or D- DTR, specifically DTR, if DTR comes in, I'm expecting him to run the ball 800 times and pass twice. It makes no sense That's to fair. pass the ball. It, the first game he played, he didn't have any other you know, um, preparation, but I mean, three picks, it didn't look great. He is a mobile quarterback. They do need to pass a little bit to you know, threaten the run, but I mean, they just need to be pounding the rock right now. There's no reason not to just utilize Hunt and uh, Ford, and that means Ford is going to have more value going in. Pollard, they're passing the ball at an extremely high rate, and it's working. And Pollard's getting none of it. He had he, like um, I think Prescott had 400 plus this a week. No receiving yards at all for Pollard. He's had he's been very uh, minimal in the past game with the new offensive coordinator there. Kellen's gone. Uh, it's just this is more of a problem than just like your question. It opens up a door. Like a lot of people were on Pollard, and there's no one behind him. It's like Rico Dowdle. Dino like, Dowdle looked pretty good at the end of last game. <laughs> you always think it's Dino. <laughs> Dowdle, like, Dowdle you looked it right. No relationship, yeah. Yeah. Answer. It's Dowdle. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think okay. Dowdle's definitely not a threat to take the job over, but no. I will not. say if blowouts, you watch the tape from last game, blowouts. 100%. He definitely looked like He's the better horrible. runner. He looked effe- more effective last <laughs> yeah. game for sure. Yeah. No, uh, I they don't know. They played Carolina this week too, so it's like a schedule thing with Pollard. Like, is there going to be enough competitive quarters? And then it kind of goes they, the other way. Like they the played the Giants. Good teams. They played the Giants last week. Week, and I swear to God, Pollard. Pollard is the best running back in the league at falling an inch short of the end zone. Like he, he will just name. Uh, yeah, sorry. yeah. Name no, a I'm just on that offense that doesn't didn't have a touchdown last week. It's just him. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's literally it's just him. Yeah, wow. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> no, like, that's it's, it's just disgusting. crazy. Yeah, it's not. And a lot of people were touting him. He's a top ten, eight because of this. Like you said, there is nobody behind him. You know, right. it just it, and then it actually more leaving. I think it was supposed to be, and people thought maybe there'd be a mirage or like, you know, oh, there's going to be more running game. You know, it's not a str- vertical passing game that Kyle right. Moore has, but it's, yeah, it's, it's just so hard. Ball, it's you know? amazing like, to look at their schedule and be like the rest of the season, like Pollard on paper should be cooking, right? Like, especially when they're blowing a team out. Like, what yeah. is going on? Like, are, are you not running the ball? They're not. They're just slinging. I feel like, like it's then that they, as they do the maintenance for them, which doesn't make any sense. And NFC yeah. East is tough, though. They got to play a lot more NFC East games, you know, yeah. matchup later, and that doesn't spell well for Pollard, I would say. Well, the other Texas running back hasn't been a, a ton better this year. Damian Pierce missing practice Oof. again with that ankle. It's looking like it's going to be three straight weeks missed unless he can retake the field tomorrow. We're going to record this on Wednesday. Uh, Devin Singletary seems like a dude. He did the offense. And it, was it was one game. He didn't have okay. the game last game. He's a flash game. in the pan It was, for it sure, was okay. But like, you're like, <laughs> him this week against the Cardinals, right? I'm like, oh. If you pick yeah. him up, you needed <laughs> Dude, him. So I, after him that performance, after that performance, I you probably just throw him back out there. But I was watching the game. That's and I, the you problem, know, though. <laughs> you know, like the Spider-Man? <laughs> you know the Spider-Man <laughs> meme where he's like, he's got the glasses and he takes them off and he sees... I was seeing Arian Foster out there. I was yeah. like, what is this right oh now? God. Like, what am I, I seeing? I'm going to turn this podcast off right now. I'm going to pull the plug. No, it's just, he had one game. He did look really good, and that was the reason why they won. It wasn't, I know Stroud has been doing these things, doing this all year, but his run game was, single tip run was why they, um, you know, solidified that Bengals win. But that's the fantasy, like, weird, like, you know, like, you get, you have these issues where, like, this guy goes off, and it's a nobody, 
and or not Singletary is nobody, but you know what I mean? Someone that's not like producing yeah. like that. And you're like, he's a mainstay now. Da-da. He's <laughs> well, gonna, like, he's almost why, like a guaranteed to be a dud this week. Why didn't the, it's, that's how the trends work in fantasy football. Why didn't like, the bills just keep him? They don't need James cook. They got Latavius Murray and Aaron Foster. There you go. And Fournette. They definitely <laughs> didn't. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's at this point, it's like a, who else is there? Like we've been talking about, but like, yeah, yeah honestly, like after that performance, and if he even puts up like half that this week is Pierce doesn't have the job anymore. Like Pierce has been extremely inefficient. You're like crazy you can yeah. think that he's gonna come back and get the job. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. know. I don't know. Singletary's, I don't like, know. Singletary's old. I, Pierce is young. He Pierce is the future. They got Singletary in like a one or two year contract. So it was like I don't. I believe what you're saying. I think here. we're giving too much credit to the Bengals defense too. They were pillow soft and had some injuries last week. So it's not like he ran over a good defense. He All ran over is, people though. He yeah, he was running people, people over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he did yeah. run. We're well, like doing two weeks that, in a row. Yeah. Like show that Arizona doesn't have anything either. Then. Yeah. Maybe it's a little bit of controversy. No, once you, I mean, we're not expecting 150, like you said. Like, no. that's, that's insane. But, like, if he gets like a 70, 80 yard game, 15 carries, and maybe he has to score the ball, because, like, if he gets 70 yards, I'm going to be like, oh, it's whatever. Yeah. I want more. I'm expecting a lot now. Listen, yeah. I don't know. We're, we're in different, we're in different playing fields, bro. Give me 70 yards and a slot for me. And I'm like, let's go. I'll, I'll take that any day. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Uh, uh yeah. Just rounding out, Nico Collins didn't practice again with his calf injury. It looks like it's going to be another week miss for him. Calves aren't good for wide receivers, push off the line, all that stuff. Uh, KJ Osborne did clear concussion, though. Uh, so ended on a positive note. KJ Osborne back, Justin Fields back with his thumb, and Matthew Stafford back with his thumb. So big boost for Puka and Cooper Cup, who are looking pretty dead if uh, if Stafford missed the rest of the season. And Oof. thumbs. And thumbs. Like, yeah. Big thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up yeah. for thumbs. Do you ever the Spy Kids movie with the guys? Yeah, oh, they're just thumbs. actual thumbs. Say yes. Yeah, yeah those things that. creep me out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Love that movie. Go Every on, once while I wake up in the middle <laughs> yeah. of the night just thinking about those thumbs. Dude, that was were crazy <laughs> movies. They're unnecessary. <laughs> All right, let's get some dudes and duds. Dudes and duds. Yeah, I'll just I'll just get this out of the way because uh, I'm I'm a little upset that this happened. But my dude this week, uh, Noah Brown. Absolutely cooked in place of Nico Collins. Uh, CJ Stroud is very, very good at football. We've seems, determined that. Seems decent. Seems to be pretty yeah. solid. Yeah. You were, one of, uh, you were yeah. one of those savvy owners who just plugged in Noah Brown, like, this is Nico Collins now. And it was. Right. Uh, I would have been. No. I would have been. <laughs> no. Right. So, so had I had I actually known what was going on with Nico Collins when waivers ran, right. uh, because Noah Brown the week mm-hmm. before had a pretty okay week, like enough to get like a, a couple bucks of fab thrown at him to kind of fill a he void for a bye week yards this is right. two straight yeah that's what i'm yeah, saying he was here. he yeah. was pretty good uh but yeah nico i didn't know nico collins was hurt so i was just ready let's throw him back out there and then wednesday hits and i'm like oh this dude's gone he's uh, friends with like two people that are like so in the weeds yeah. with injuries and he's trying to go on this podcast right now and be like i didn't know what was wrong with nico collins I think, I, that I think, doesn't fly for me here. i think nico <laughs> collins popped up wednesday though didn't it <laughs> it he, did he played no, the whole he, game he didn't come it out was like a way. yeah i don't want to give him anything on just <laughs> he wants side no here. credit I'm all i'm saying is i didn't i didn't have the announcement before waivers ran to know what was happening if i would have i would have got the i would have given him enough to get the Noah brown into it yeah it's like why didn't you text me pick up Noah brown immediately Come on. <laughs> I, we have his we have his football team yeah. like spreadsheets taped on the wall here in the office. Yeah, I know. Now, and Nico Collins. <laughs> obviously, Sports Injury Central is the place to be to check for injuries yes. for sure. Yes. But I'm just but. I'm a little salty. <laughs> I'm happy but. about I'm happy Noah Brown's cooking because I I do think this this passing offense is something that's going to sustain the rest of the season. Obviously, CJ Stroud's just absolutely balling. It's fun to watch. The team's awesome. Uh, if there was like a a league pass for the NFL, like if you got to like you know like you could pick a couple teams to watch. Texans got to be on there, and they're fun oh, to watch. Yeah, they're too fun. They're fun, yeah. Um, but yeah, Noah Brown rolling back out there this week if Nico Collins isn't playing, like you're saying, uh, which is also going to be really sad for me because I once again have to fill that void. We were talking Trent and Irwin earlier. It's Irwin, I'm, I'm going to call on you again to fill this void because that's where we're at this Noah season. Brown is what you're trying to say. It would have been Noah Brown, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm done. There you go. Uh, my dude of the week, uh, you were trying to talk me to the Ami Brown because I think <laughs> one of us, one of someone else has a, another Brown as a dude, so we would have been triple Brown. Uh, Howell but... <laughs> threw to Brown in college, by the way. He did? Yes. He did Ami Brown, at right? UNC, yes. Ami Brown, yeah. Way before Drake May. Or, uh, not a, that a much year more. Or two. <laughs> a year or two. Not too, not too much more. <laughs> Anyways, my dude is uh, Sam Howell's favorite target in uh, last week's game against Seahawks. Brian Robinson, six catches for 119 and a touchdown for a guy that doesn't really catch. Those are all career highs, really by catch the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He only had eight for 38 on the ground, but he had one that, that one big, big touchdown yeah, on yeah. screen, something like that. But uh, That was a beautiful play, by the yeah. way. Sammy, I like, love Sam Howell. He found his way. hands. Yeah. Good job, Brian. Yeah. 
found his hands. That's how he found it. That's, he's been doing that all year. <laughs> or not the Brian, maybe, but what the heck are these? He just out on the field. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah hit, hits his hands. Yeah. 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 What? You know, Gibson, if he found his hands every week, but Gibson also had a touchdown them. last game. Gibson looked so, all right, too. Both. Yeah. Yeah. You might need both. Yeah. Shout out to anybody still believing in Antonio Gibson. Just like, you know what? He can do it. I let him go early in the season. I, I, get, I, I told get Doc it. to draft him early in the offseason because I thought BNME would use him more it, because BNME, I thought it's he would be kind of week by week yeah. thing. It's so, like so did I. That's why I picked him early, but I dropped him and he got picked up and then dropped again. And then I, and then I think I picked him up one more time, dropped him. He's been on and off, but now I think he's, he's like, like found he's a spot. Points a game, which is like good enough yeah. in PPR. You, you have that as at least a flex for flyer. Um, my dude, right? Yes. Yes. Amon, dude, dude another enough. another Brown, but I got a ST next to it. Amon St. Brown. This might be an easy one. I just think like this was a really big game. So I think like he sometimes he like falters in like the like eight and eighty and like maybe a touchdown. But this was a big like just 150 plus yards touchdown. He scored more than he did last year. Big game for golf. Stop smiling. What are you smiling? Sorry, about? I'm looking at the sheets right now. What what is this? What are these statistics? 65 receptions, 821, <laughs> four TDs. Oh, look at my notes. Oh, okay. okay. No, Sorry. Season stats. Oh, season. <laughs> season. Okay. Makes a lot more sense. In the like, that was a hell of a game. You're, you're ruining my whole shit. Here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You know, he's got 65, 821, and four already. That's amazing. He's already almost at a thousand already. He seems like he's taken a step from where he already was last year. Uh, Josh those, Goff is taking a step. Yes, Josh. Friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. Mm-hmm. Josh, of yes. The pod. Absolutely. Um, he's the one that, remember, he has like 16 receivers that were taken before him. Those were all, like, maybe a couple of them. I don't want to He's still naming them he's, in his he, head with every catch. This this kid's amazing. Uh, Goff loves him. He's going to continue to do this every week. He seems matchup proof. I've seen games where he had an injury and he beat the prop that we had at six score before. Like he, and I was going to talk about just one year Houston thing as well. That team has taken so many injury hits. And they're still good. So there's, I don't know yeah. what to stop them. Just to go back to your point there, but yeah, that, this thing like St. Brown, he's taking that. He had that, uh, you know, groin, you know, injury. He's had a couple knocks. Kid plays through everything. The, the toe injury, and he had the plate in his foot. So he's going to continue to do this. So whoever picks St. Brown, who is definitely not in the big bracket of people, he had a lot more people that were taken above him, maybe right. like 14, 15. So good for you. You got a top 10 wide receiver right now. Is the Lions offense matchup proof? Proof at this moment, not matchup. Matchup poop. Yes, I think they might be. Uh, no, honestly, they're really good. I, their running back situation is bonkers right now. It's uh, insane. That's what they wanted, though. They drafted yeah. that. That's yeah, why I they saw, got all excited. I saw a lot of people yeah. like ask, like, "Oh, should I start Montgomery or Gibbs?" Like, yes, both. both. Find yeah, a way all. to get them take in the flex. Whoever you have in flex <laughs> or running back, take yeah. them out. out. Yeah. No, they're the way they're operating their team. They have a healthy O line now. Vitae is not even in the lineup anymore. They yeah. just took him out. It's just all healthy. Glasgow's there. Um, they have a really good team offense. And their defense is getting a little healthier. They need Gardel Johnson you know, back. Thirty-eight to the Chargers. Yeah, they're going to. It's a work in progress. Yeah, but they they get Johnson back. Houston can come back eventually, I believe, right with the mm-hmm. ankles. So I mean, there's a lot going on on that. Playing team the Bears better, this better. week. Playing the Bears this week with Fields back. Yeah. What do we think? What do we think that defense is going to do against them? At home, I think. Right. I think it's in Detroit. I don't Fields know. is interesting. Like he might be ready to go. He might not be rusty. But then okay. he might 100% be rusty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you do with that what you want. I'd, I'd imagine there'd be some sacks. All right. I think there's going to be some sacks on the table. He holds the defense. ball too long. Yeah. yeah. He yes, runs I around. Agree. He'll he'll yes. get he'll get tackled behind the line. But I don't I don't foresee the Bears having a chance in this game. But who Monte knows? Sweat looked really good last game too. So on the other side, like they, their defense has been playing really good. So maybe Fields all he needs is a little defense behind him to figure it out. That has kind of trap game written all over like division opponent too. I don't know. Could be could be a little sneaky one. It's hard to say that about the Bears, but yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll probably talk a little bit more about that later. And hey, they, they gotta win. They can't lose because they're gonna lose those draft yeah. picks, right? So they need to. That was crazy watching that Carolina game. This is like one of these teams is gonna win. And it's gonna be the last one of the year. <laughs> yep, gross. Most likely. Uh, let's let's move on to the duds. Uh, I'll I'll start with uh, Joshua Allen. Uh, I gotta call mm-hmm. him by that name it's because name. Yep. Yep. yes, it's just he hasn't earned one the of those games version yet. Uh, 15 for 26. It's on the Madden cover, but like, <laughs> yeah. this is the Madden Joshua, curse, by the way. Go on. Joshua yeah. Allen. <laughs> wait, wait. The, okay, listen. Let's not talk about the, a curse. He's not cursed, all right? He had a bad game. He's been turning the ball over a lot. But if you look at your statistics, he's still like the QB1, right, in fantasy. Uh, Okay. Check it out. You want to go by statistics, <laughs> all right. Statistics. I go by vibe when I'm I pick go my quarterback. Like yeah, just, it's yeah. all heart when I'm it's picking my hard. quarterback. Uh, 100, <laughs> dog in him. 177 yards, a touchdown. Uh, he did He did get a two-point conversion, so you get that points to offset one of the 15 turnovers he had, yeah. so that's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, he had two interceptions uh, and a fumble lost. Um, 
which I think, yeah, I, they were trying to put on James Cook for that fumble, but he just did, did, no, to just let the ball go. Yeah, yeah, he, he just let the ball go. Snap, yeah. uh, he did run in a touchdown at the end, and I will say this is this is also I'm just gonna keep going back to my home league team. I'm okay. doing I, like I, we talked about. It, I'm doing very well in my dynasty league, and I don't even care. It's just that one. <laughs> everyone has that one league where you're like, I don't. I just if and if it's not going for me in that league, I'm, I don't care about normal. anything else. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, Josh Allen, he, I did win. But only because he ran in that very last second touchdown in the, at the end of the game, and it was my Josh Allen uh, versus Dalton Kincaid, and I almost lost that. Oh wow! I, I almost I don't know. It was crazy. I, I think that says more about Kincaid than it does about negative about Allen because Kincaid actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it, Kincaid. That was like good. the perfect foil for that matchup. Is he's 100 percent throwing a Kin Kincaid touchdown that game? Yeah, yeah, Josh Allen is completely fine fantasy wise. Just looking at his stats, just go on your phone and look at it, and you'll be fine. It's there's three games know, where no. he. What? New OC, it's gonna shake things up. I don't think is, they're not gonna, gonna shake power anything power. up, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's I, right. I'm gonna call him a dud. I know, obviously, he's still doing very well for you. You're gonna keep starting him, but it, it just was a gross big. week. Three turnovers, <laughs> yeah, three he's turnovers. Is gross. <laughs> I my dud. I would not say it's his face either, but Trevor Lawrence. Oh, uh, uh, he's, a, he's he's pretty. He's still a big <laughs> dude. <laughs> don't let the long hair fool you. Uh, Seventeen to twenty nine. Two interceptions last game, only two runs for seven yards. It was a blowout from the from the jump. So we'll give them a little bit more of the week than the Niners. But kind of off a bye, they, the offense is rolling. It's just not not the performance you want from him. And I feel like he hasn't been startable as a fantasy quarterback for the last couple weeks. Like He's even been, though they've been winning, yeah, it's just not putting up those touchdown numbers, rushing numbers, all that stuff. They're the like a wildly inconsistent football team. Like they'll just erupt, and you'll be like, "What did I just see? Look at all these stats!" Like ETN just went for two hundred and eight touchdowns and like all this crap. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they'll just lay an egg, and you're like, "Why? No, nobody was startable." And that was what we pretty much saw last week. Well, from a, a fantasy standpoint, they've been yeah. winning from a regular standpoint. <laughs> I would say it's a perfect test game for them as a team and for fantasy to play Titans this week because like. Titans shouldn't be stopping anybody, but then Trevor Lawrence is going to have like two picks. You like just they wait. <laughs> scratch out like 12 points. They won like... five straight before last game. Yeah. Remember? And they beat the Bills as part of that. So right. Fantasy-wise, you know. it's just like, it does, it's weird. It doesn't feel like that. Like it's Calvin Ridley. Calvin it's, Ridley. All it's, Ridley. it's Ridley. Yeah. It's all yeah. that, yeah. those Ridley yeah. vibes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See? Don't go off stats. Go off vibes. Yeah, vibes. Yeah, it's the vibe. You're right. You're right. This is why we do it. All right. Who's your dud, Taylor? Uh, vibe check. This is my dud. Oof. Tony Pollard. Completely making me very like bad vibes, vibes bad, bad vibes, vibes. Yeah, bad no, juju, bad no juju, vibes. Smith Schuster is going on here. <laughs> uh, 15 for 55. That isn't good in any league. Like standard PPR, he had zero catches, and that's something people drafted him for. I have a lot of people like in the fantasy community that like were really high in him. He was some of them were his they're gonna be their RB1 this year. Like he had nobody behind him. Rico Dowdle. Yep. Dowdle, and he, yeah. <laughs> and then he, he there's just nothing there. Elliot's gone. Um but this this pass happy attack is just not su is suited for him right now. He's not getting the ball enough. He's also running at a under four yards a carry, which is not sustainable for you know twenty yards or less, uh, twenty carries or less a game. Um, this year, um, he's like the RB twenty, which is very bad. And that means I don't know if math. There's nineteen other running backs you should have above him. That is math. But, um, yep. <laughs> no, but just something he should be at least in the top fifteen, even if he's having a, like okay like a bad year. Is he down so, there in Ramondre range? Yeah, so like Ooh, putting yeah. in Ramondre like yeah, Ramondre is kind of there. Yeah. Good, uh, yeah, it's not a good bracket to be in when you should have been, been five spots the last before. Couple weeks, yeah, yeah. Couple touchdown. But overall, the last two weeks. But yeah, it's I just feel like what we're too. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, we're not getting the receiving. I don't want right. to cut you off, but yeah. that's what I was oh, going to say. Yeah. What is that? Like earlier in the season, he had a couple games where he was getting yeah. like six, seven, eight catches. That's just like gone right now. It's gone. Yeah. Why? They're just downfield, downfield. Like they're not even looking at him. And like like we just talked about, um, you know that meme I saw on Twitter. Everybody scored. <laughs> yeah. Except him. There's yeah. a, a analyst like in James Co or something. He had the um you know the stapler guy from the movie Office. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Office um, it was, it was yeah. the cake thing. Remember when he's passing the cake and it was like they had <laughs> yeah. names and all the guy, yeah. all the yeah. Dallas yeah. Cowboys yeah. people like, oh Gallup cake, can I have some good yeah. cake? Can I <laughs> you have to pass it off. You, you can't know? have any cake, yeah. Tony. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he didn't have no, yes, exactly. Tony had zero cake that game. And that's uh it's happening a lot this year. He only has two combined touchdowns all year, rushing and receiving. That's yeah. not gonna do it. So every week it just feels like, especially last week, I I bought in. So like I I went out and made made a trade to get Tony Pollard last week because right. I was like 
they're, he's playing the Giants. They're going to blow him out, which yeah, they right. did. They hundred percent got a pop, and he had no role in <laughs> role. that, which yeah. is disgusting. Yep. Uh, yep. In my head, I'm like, there's no way somebody who has like what we discussed, not a lot of competition. He's right. going to get a pretty okay workload. The the positive regression has to come eventually, right? But if you say that for week after week after week. Maybe the dude's just so not crazy. good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He might just no, be this, this guy. Pop. <laughs> no, that's the definition the of going like crazy, that. right? Yeah. When you're expecting the same thing, get you know, you're not gonna, you know, result or something like, like that. Like so yeah. so you're we being psycho. Yeah, Everybody. so I'm gonna yeah. keep being a psycho and I'm gonna roll <laughs> him out again, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But he's playing the Panthers this week. Uh, I I expect See, this that, to be that doesn't matter anymore, I think. Like back in the beginning of the year, you'd be like, Oh, he's playing the the Saskatchewan, you know, Titans, and it didn't matter. Because he's still getting 15 and 50, 55 and not getting four yards to carry. It's just not, it's not working. I do remember that Saskatchewan Titans game that they played. <laughs> no, that was, that was a fun burner. I'm glad uh, you brought it up. I had it on my list but, for later. So, <laughs> like, it's to the point now, like, where because I, because of bye weeks, I, I am actually, I'm in a dark place, man. I'm considering, <laughs> <laughs> I'm considering okay. taking Pollard and yeah. hedging with Dowdle. And just throwing them both out there, dude. It's like wow. that. We're there, dude. You can be his mic, right? Because he's like promoting himself. Woo! All Dowdle. right, let's get out of here. This Dowdle. Is Dowdle. Dowdle. This is Dowdle. not gambling advice. This is not fantasy advice. No, this definitely is don't, don't do that. This, this is a that. dude don't in a do dark this. place <laughs> that's just trying to survive. <laughs> giving I'm just saying, like, if, I'm glad like, you're talking if, about it, Justin. If you have silently doing it, if people have him, yeah. If people have Pollard, right? They are in a dark place. Okay, and I can tell you that. Uh, yeah. I don't know how many are actually handcuffing him with with Dowdle. I feel like but if you <laughs> next to them because <laughs> there's one and it's just it's, it's me. at least one. It has to be at least Listen, one. Listen, the other the other three of you out there that are doing this, all right? <laughs> I know this yeah. feeling right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're like you saw what Dowdle did last week in a blowout, right? He had the whole fourth quarter and he got a pretty good load. It could happen again this Pause. week. Yeah. It could happen again this week. There's a yeah. there's a realistic, there's a non-zero chance. Right, that Dowdle will outscore Pollard again this week. This is this is like a Reddit post uh, energy right here. Like <laughs> why I'm, why I'm hey, listen, run this Pollard back. This week. Run this back next like week. A, like Twitter and be like, hey, who is who is doing what Justin is doing? Yes or no? <laughs> run this. Know, run that. it back next week. We'll come back and revisit it. But if Dowdle yeah. outscores Pollard, I'm jumping off a bridge. It's over. Well, let's get you some leftovers that are <laughs> a little bit dark. Very, very dark. <laughs> get you some leftovers. There'll be water. Be better than Dowdle. There'll yeah. be water, he said. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my the leftovers. I'm realizing we, I don't have any running backs on this list, so I don't have no, any. It doesn't matter. Lead, no, no, you lead with the fire, dude. No, you lead you with the fire. With the kicker? No, you, you lead with the heat. The list. I was like, what? Uh, That's I'm heat. a kicker tell. I picked up Jason yeah. Myers, and he went off for 21. Won me a matchup, so I'm recommending Matt Amendola for the Houston Going against the Car- uh, the Cardinals this week, you know you might have a kicker on by. This guy mm-hmm. came in, he was money mm-hmm. three for three. There's three PATs. There's four kickers on by. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know that's oh. a lot. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Young Way Koo, automatic gone. He yeah. was in a lot of he's people's gone. lineups. Now he's gone. Pick You're up right. Amendola. I don't know. That's not bad. I listen. It's it, I. I've been having. I, I, what I've been trying to do is trying to figure out. I think this is a good idea. Obviously, uh, they're a really really good offense. We've already said this like four times over. Texans. I will admit some of his kicks last week weren't exactly down the center. All right. So nope. there is uh it's a little volatility, you, but you the offense is good. In the NFL, all right, Justin. <laughs> I know. I'm not saying guy. I can do can it. I? Can what, I? <laughs> were they the right side of the pole or the wrong side of the pole? That's all I need to know. I think they were the wrong side. That's why I'm worried. <laughs> no, <laughs> He's on the dark side of the pole. All right. <laughs> he is in a dark place. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had one non kicker person I would like to say. Yes, um, please. I like Jalen Guyton, 13% owned mm-hmm. and sleeper. Um, Keenan is probably going to play through that shoulder, but I don't know how 100%. It's probably definitely sore. He was uh, limited or not practiced today. Right. Um, Palmer's out. Williams is out for the season. Um, Everett also has a, a little knock, too. So Guyton picked up a touchdown. He's a speedster. Um, I have no faith in Quentin Johnson, regardless of the game he had. Good job. He, he did. He scored one touchdown. His four, hands worked. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. With his hands. He found his yeah. hands too. <laughs> four thirty-four and a touchdown. That's okay. Yeah. I think Guyton has some breakaway speed that you might get, like you know, like a Calvin Austin touchdown. Remember against the Raiders, where that just seventy, like you just need one catch, seventy a touch. Guyton can do that. He's um second year off the ACL or first, so he's trying right. to get yeah, himself together. Be, so second, I think. Yeah. So good for him. Um, I'm seeing Amadola on here. I understand why you went there. Um, <laughs> also, uh, PJ Walker is on my list too. Oh. I know, I know, but DTR is not the answer. The season's going to end. PJ Walker ain't it either. 
Well, who, one touchdown, five picks. The trade deadline's over, guys. What are they going to get? Carson, I know he's Carson Pence? Because Wentz is already taken already. Like, there's no, I mean, Superflex, there's here. Superflex stash him, yes, because yes. they are going to go back to P.J. Walker. They're, you guys just are... 12 promo- team, there's other quarterbacks. You promoted you a kicker. You else. promoted a kicker because there's four buys. Yes. That means n- there's four quarterback buys, too. I have a... I have a Stay here, yeah, but, not this, but, but wait, you, you're yeah, not going to start PJ. This, this <laughs> no, wait, book it. <laughs> <I see. laughs> tell me, <laughs> tell me, PJ Walker's outscoring uh, whatever his name is. We're not PJ saying his week. name. We're just, we're just, we're just, we're just Walker this week. Yeah, <laughs> mm, I, I don't know. know. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> no, but PJ Walker is definitely a stash because I don't think DTR is going to handle the job fully. Um, if you want, um, if you have quarterback wins as a fantasy stat. PJ Walker's your guy. <laughs> he's, he's the leader of the clubhouse right. in the quarterback wins league. Undeserved. Yep. Uh, Khalil Shakur I have on here. Uh, he had two weeks before, but kind of fell off this last week. Uh, 12.2 fantasy points and then 7.7 and uh, 2.9 this week. But it seems like he's getting more involved in the offense as long as, along with Kincaid. So he's kind of carving out a role. It's not Deontay Hardy. Uh, it's sort of Gabe Davis, not really all the time. We don't need to spend time talking about Gabe Davis. We can we talk uh, about Stefan Diggs? I mean, did you see? I don't know if we're making anything out of that tweet that yeah. uh, that went out that said maybe we got to get this guy out of here. I don't know. That was the brother kind of calling him out. Yeah, I don't know. See? Bad vibes. The vibes are bad, bad there. Is, are we getting a greasy? Or was it squeaky wheel? Greasy wheel? I don't know what we're going to call it. Oh my god! <laughs> squeaky wheel game for Diggs coming out. I mean, he's going to get the ball regardless, but he wasn't the one squawking. No, but it's like it's he's out jumping there. on the squawk. It's weird. Yeah, there's some. It is out there. Some he, chirping he, out the window. You know, he right? vented to his brother. It doesn't come out of nowhere. Like right. Yeah. It's Obviously. Not, yeah. What did Trevon say? He said, "He's like, we got to get 14 out of there." Allen wasn't like good before Diggs got there. Essentially, you know, they always overdrive. Oh, I didn't get the. Like I I, I just old. read the tweet. He's I didn't barely, see he was barely in the league. All right, let him like adjust. <laughs> out of Wyoming, he didn't know yeah. what to do. <laughs> he was. He, he basically, yeah, he wanted Diggs out of there because he's like, what is what is Josh Allen did before Diggs got there? What did Jalen Hurts do before AJ Brown? What Nothing. did Kyler Murray do before no, DeAndre Hopkins? Do what do you want to just keep this? What did Tua do before Tyreek? They're there to make them better. <laughs> yeah. So of course they're going to get better when they're there. That's just dumb. That's just dumb. Dumb thinking. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Darnell Mooney, I got here. Uh, Justin Fields coming back. I know Bajent was doing his best to spread the ball around. Not that Fields is going to have much more prospects, but uh, Mooney has been largely forgotten. I get that why he's on the waiver wire. He's facing the Lions defense that gives up the 10th most passing, and the Vikings defense gives up the 8th most passing next two weeks. All right. 8th most wide receivers. So Listen. I- so I'm the one thing, I, one thing I don't hope like, you're not in a deep play, deep dark yeah. place where you're like Darnell Mooney. He's the answer for. No, you have to be. You weeks, have to be like, like in Justin's like kind of like yeah. dark room. Um, he had two for fourteen last week against the Panthers, who are a worse pass defense than the Lions. You just had mentioned. Um, that's not great. He did have eighty-two yards the week before, though. He's a deep threat. So you don't think Justin Fields comes back slinging? No. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> no, but I mean, he he might do help him with them eater media routes. But yeah. I mean, that's that's more Cole Komet's territory. Cole Komet might have a huge game with Fields back. Um, more does the intermediate, intermediate route too. But he had a forty-one yard catch against the Chargers a couple weeks ago. I mean, he had eighty. That's about like, it. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> that's it on the he, year. But that's two. He two of the last three games, they're thirty-five plus yard catches. So that's he is the threat they're downfield. Them in a so they bit, want yeah. to. Yeah. So if you can turn that into a touchdown, maybe you can have like a Trent Irwin situation, right? Where <laughs> We're hoping for a Trent Irwin type game out of you know? Darnell Mooney. Yeah, that's... but I mean, that's what Ouch. you have to do when you're doing these leftovers, right? Like the leftovers aren't. It's not prime rib. It's a day old prime rib, and it's a little yeah. warm, a little cold. No. I mean, other way around. Yeah. The cold. Yeah. I mean, are we dusting off Rondell more than? Oh, uh, eight targets could be week. live. Could be. I don't know. He could be all right. Who remembers him? When you say targets, you're you don't like the rest. He's of He's throwing stats. to him more than Michael Wilson. More. More to more. More to more. <laughs> more, to more. <laughs> I'm like, wait. <laughs> what? How many? T- how, what was his stats? He was like uh, eight, eight targets, eight, four catches, fifty-three. Five catches. Five catches. Sorry. Forty-three. Sure. You got those. Back those right. I don't know why. Just, he's lying. As I keep I going, you're brain. lying. No. <laughs> Looked at it one time. <laughs> uh, it's 65% of the Wilson snaps. Uh, Michael Wilson. Four for 34. Three for okay. 40, 34. See? Three. So I more, just think more, Michael more. Wilson looks like the better <laughs> wide receiver, personally. He but, is. Oh, he, he's yeah. a lanky guy, though. He's not like Moore's going to get you to where Wilson needs to go. Like Wilson's going to beat you in the red zone. Moore's more of a speed guy. But um, I don't know. They're both, like, he's, they're both dark room picks. I'm gonna. I probably will yeah. start Michael Wilson this week. Uh, I like Michael Wilson. Yeah. I, like I think. 
I, I think with first game Kyler back, he was looking his way quite a bit, but like it wasn't. I hated that. I had his unders at six score, <laughs> and I was because I was like, he's a rookie. When did Don't you got when you, when you got Lens last time? You guys talked. So yeah, he, right. He, That's like, what I'm saying. Were, like Clayton Toon and Dobbs been throwing to you all rookie camp yeah. and preseason, <laughs> right. and all of a sudden Kyler's like Michael Wilson, even though right. Rondo Moore and everybody's been there for years. I'm like whatever, yeah. but it did a year right. He looked at him way more than I thought, and it's because he's a he's just a big body, and he, his um route running is not horrible at all. He gets open in the middle of the yeah. field gets those eight yard catches and shorten the field but i'm just impressed that kyler figured out to sustain mcbride because he's mcbride looks like a baller out of nowhere like i feel yeah. like it lasts too if, long Ertz has yeah. been holding him back uh, probably yeah oh. for sure but Ertz is going to come back so like what's what's going to happen there are we going to like are we really going to do this Bench. No. yeah mcbride is the dude he was he was a i told you when he was at colorado state he's a he's a, gets all the yards he's he's like been able to be the number one Route receiving runner threat, too, huh? receiving threat in an offense before. He knows how to do that. He's not just like, oh, to get four forty eight and I'll call it a day. Like he's and very, he can be the main guy. There's something that, to be yeah. said though. This is we're talking about vibes, but like every time he caught a ball, dude would just get up and flex and yell. And I'm like, all right, dude, this guy's this is a football guy. All right, he's this loving is, it. Yeah, he's yeah loving he loves it. this. Yeah. 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 So like, he's I feel like there's dude. something you got to keep throwing the guy like that the ball. I feel like. And after the game too, he was like talking all about how he loved playing with Kyler. It looks like he's like excited that like the offense has changed and are having Murray there. So, uh, the other plug and play tight end. Hopefully, you're not this deep in the tight end waivers, but Michael Mayer, he had the twinkle toes touchdown for tight end. That was nice. Ooh. In That's the corner right. of the end zone. So yes, that was a beautiful yeah. catch. They yeah. haven't really figured out how to throw to him, but maybe Aiden O'Connell will look his way. Working with the B unit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's got nothing. He's got nothing to say. He's uh, his team. There's nothing you, left. Your radio silence. No, talking about it was, a, team, it was a good. Agree. It was a good. It was a good catch. But arguably, if you look at the replay, he chucked it. <laughs> he, yeah. he, he, mayor, mayor's like, oh, I'll wasn't get it. designed like, play for Mayor. Yeah, I mean, go get it. <laughs> Not like a good play, but um. No, he's he looks like um, Austin Hooper looks like he's completely out of that offense. It looks like it's Mayer now, yep. and it was all not Mayer. It was Hooper and others earlier in the year. So it's good that Mayer is now getting majority of the reps and the snaps. Um, O'Connell's just not something you need to rely on week to week, but he could become O'Connell's safety blanket because O'Connell is not going to be able to rely on Adams like he did. They're going to triple team him every time. There's that's the only way to stop him. Jacoby Myers was running routes specifically that would help Jimmy G out. His his target share has completely went yeah, to like 16 percent since yeah. uh, um, Aiden's been there. It's just a different like slants and stuff that Jimmy likes to do, not the whole twenty five yard gappers that you know Levis and like people like that do. So it's not speaking well, I guess. But Mayor maybe can be the guy at least in the middle of the field. Yeah, Raiders just got to get the red zone. Yeah, they're staying yeah. Josh Jacobs. So all right, let's Jacobs. look ahead to uh, yeah. next week's matchup: shootouts and droughts. Mm, it's some shootouts and drafts. Well, stick with that uh, Wild West theme. Top shootout and drought. Arizona at Houston, 48 and a half. Over or way over? That's the only two answers. Uh, I'm hoping way over. I want to see some sauce here. I think this is, I think I, I want this to be fun. I want to see some <laughs> Southwestern <laughs> sauce here. Uh, no, I, I, I think this could be, you. this could be a really fun game and I, and I hope it right. actually lives up. I hope Kyler like coming off last week, you know, and, and I hope he comes and, and kind of, they just going to roll up the same offense and, and start slinging it and chucking it. He was running very well last week. I thought for, for somebody coming off of, uh, off of what's the ACL, right? Yeah, I forgot. Well, I forgot the man he was even doing. He's one of those dude. A he was things, a tendons. Yeah. One of those a things that yeah. you think it's ACL and that. Yeah, a ACL, BCL, CCL. I don't know what it is, but none, uh, of, those. none of those. Yeah, none of <laughs> yeah. those aren't real things. But either way, no. I will. I, he did. He moved around. He ran in a couple times. Ran a touchdown in. It was. Yep. It looks good. Uh, so I'm hoping that that sustains and they can. This can actually be a, a really watchable football game because last week there were some games that were unwatchable i shouldn't say about, that there uh, there were some really yeah. good games last week i won't i won't crap on last week one thing about kyler is like his arm is better than like a lot of these mobile quarterbacks so like him coming back from the acl he looks better because he could like that mcbride pass i don't think hurts and others can do that come like the first game off an acl so he, can, he should be continue to do that but i don't know if the running's fully there yet he didn't have any design runs maybe two so i mean 33 is not a lot he usually averages at least 40 plus so We'll see, we'll see with him, but it was one game and he definitely looked a lot better than we thought. It's just a big compliment that a, a football week that includes uh, Patrick Mahomes versus Jalen Hurts. We're talking about uh, Kyler Murray versus CJ Stroud at the top of it. So that's the right move. Compliment. Okay. Uh, Chicago at Detroit's next one. I have 47 and a half. I don't know yeah. what to make of that with Fields coming back. Golf Detroit's and Fields defense. is another good, good matchup, matchup, though, matchup. Like for, for viewing purposes. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh man, I don't know, man. I I not all Detroit. Like I feel like the points is just all. I, I really it's think Chicago defense is heavy. taking a, a turn though. I think they're good, and I think they're trying. They're the bad teams. I don't know. They always find a way to win when they need draft picks. You know, so like, <laughs> they like they're, they're gonna start there. Try, Montez figuring Sweat's out. just gonna have a game. No, it's they, all right. They, they're not worried because the Panthers are just gonna lose for them. Like, yeah, yeah. They're they're like, sure. we got they're somebody out. They outsource. They're policy. losing. They're like, we can try. <laughs> No, their, yeah. Super Bowl, their Super Bowl was that Thursday night game. The fact that they beat the Panthers on top of like s- securing the picks, that was just like, yeah. that was key. Let's <laughs> do whatever they want the rest of the season. Um, getting the defense being like a win, like like trading for people, the thing was interesting for the Bears. I don't think they were a win now team, no. like getting sweat, but uh, and they definitely overpaid for him as well with, uh, you know, Niners getting young with a cheaper pick. But um, I think that they're, they're on the way of being playing, you know, well on defense. Now they get fields back, but I don't know if Fields is hundred percent going to be ready to go first week. Right. Yeah. He's going to run around. He's not going to want to throw the I ball mean, in the pocket. He's just going to run. His injury was to his so. thumb. So yeah. you don't I run with your thumb. He's going to run around. <laughs> Take the over yeah. on his rushing yards. Yeah. Now I don't care what the number is. Uh, next one I have is Vegas at Miami, Miami coming off a buy 46 and a half. How about that for a quarterback matchup? Ain't no Connell versus. This is what we want. Versus dreads to a, it's a new era. Yeah, this is this is going to be something. Uh, this is again, another. <laughs> this is another one of those things where it's skewed heavily. Uh, I think to one side. Yeah. What's uh, the total? You said forty six and a half. Yeah, forty six of those are Miami. Oh my god, there. Yeah, I, I appreciate them giving too? a half. Can't stop the run. It is in Miami. It's in Miami, it's, and a, yeah. a, a Chan is back. A Chan might be back. Chan is back. Yeah, so designated. So he, it's scary. He's LP play, today. So, too, yeah. yeah. Um, no, Mas- that's Mustard and Achan against a defense that made AJ Dillon look good. I mean, uh. <laughs> I think the, the Raiders can score 14. So, I mean, you get 30 yeah. plus. Like, the Ra- Dolphins should be able to do that, right? That's what they showed. No, I think no, they're not 46 of it, but they're a lot of it. <laughs> no, there's P- Pierce um, has been doing well with the Raiders since taking over. I mean, they have some like they're riding this good nostalgia and good, people like, just waiting room for and stuff. Waiting but for the vibes are good. The vibes are good. The vibes, the vibes yeah. is real over there, but. Um, it's gonna change this week probably. This is a key, just this is a, this is a key game. The Dolphins are coming off a bye, correct? Yes, they're ready to go. Jalen Waddle's um, fine. Jalen Waddle's yeah. fine. Hill's fine. They're all fine. The offensive line is definitely healthier than it was Connor a couple weeks ago. Now, yep. yeah. uh, Connor Williams is another week. Um, I think they'll get Robert Hunt back as well, the guard. Right. So that whole team is primed. And what our uh, doc likes to say, it might be a boat race. That's what he says. Okay. Yeah. But turn up the throttle. Mm-hmm. Whatever. It's my boat term. <laughs> throttle, <laughs> throttle it up. I wonder how many, how many knots a a chance. All right. Oh, there cut you go. Cut them okay. off. All right. All right. <laughs> we we didn't give the, pro- the uh, proper uh, room to breathe for that joke. Sorry. Sorry. There is a there is a button over here that we can just press mute. You know, so that, it's right? more fun to say cut them off, cut them off, and then we That's don't. Fair. Uh, Seahawks at Rams, the same total, forty six and a half. Good to see Stafford back. I think that Stafford's back. That's it. That's what we wanted to see. Him and Rosberger, I feel like could throw with like. Every bone in their body broken. Yeah. Like just come out like a Russian mob thing. They like go and broken their bodies. Like, oh, you got to go play football today. And they just go and just like go crazy. Because yeah. I think they just play through anything. Like, I don't think like if Stafford going out, I think he's going to be fine. He probably is going to have some issues. He's thumb gripping and stuff. But he's a player that plays through all kinds of issues. The back he played through, like he's a tough quarterback. Kyron Williams, uh, they said is on track to return next week. That's the first week he's eligible. I already had the high ankle sprain. So I'm just excited to see what that offense looks like with them. With Stafford fully healthy, Puka, yeah, up and Kyron Williams, like that's a scary offense. All of a sudden, I'm hoping that it's still the same energy, the same vibe <laughs> that Stafford was having, right? Where at the beginning it, of the yeah, season, I will need to see the vibes. It. I don't yeah. look at that statistics. We keep I'm saying that, but I'm just saying, like, you know, Stafford, Stafford was just coming out and slinging it like just crazy. They got didn't the vibes of care, a good offense, is what I'm yeah. saying. So I'm hoping that keeps up. I'm hoping Puka and Cooper Cup can sustain, obviously for fantasy purposes, but. I, I think you definitely are happy if you're if you have either of them uh, that Stafford's back on the field. That's that you need that for success. You don't need Ripian, no, no. <laughs> well, they don't either. They just let him go. They They're like that was like, that went. was bad. That, that was one of the worst performances of football <laughs> I feel like I've ever a rookie, seen. Rookie like Tavito, he does that. You release him, but he's on a, like a rookie contract. Like Ripian, so like, like that's he's value. a veteran. They're like they can be like, dude. There's got to be something better than this. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even let him. They didn't even <laughs> let him on the bus. They're, They're like, really look, having you. and he's in we, Seattle right now. But I guarantee it's just to pick his brain on what the Rams are doing. You know, what right, I mean? right, like, right, right. <laughs> like, what are you doing there? Uh, oh, is that rabbit. gonna that gonna play into this game now? Though, oh, big, I don't know. Wait a minute, big stuff, ideology guys. shift. Yeah, it's right. like Connor Stallions, like guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last one on the list: Bengals at the Ravens. Uh, the Thursday night game, forty-six. 
feels like a good number. feels like it's going to be 2023, 23, 23, 23, 20, hmm. something in that range. Yeah. This one's going to be rough. Who do you got in that game? It's yeah, probably right. I, I like the Ravens a little bit, but not like a lot. Ravens look so good. Game, it's like, like said. it's hard to bet against them right now because they're like just cooking. I think the Browns but the, anomaly. They were up by 14, right? Or more. Yeah. Like that was, they won yeah. that game in my yeah. brain. Yeah, yeah that's Keaton, fair. Did Keaton Mitchell <laughs> yeah. have the job over Justice Hill? No. And and over Hill? Hill? He didn't really mention Edwards at all? He but hates Edwards. By the way. Gus, Gus is the guy. Gus. Yeah, thank you. He's the guy. Jacob has a weird hatred towards him, even though I told it's everybody at the company. I'm, just, I'm not giving up James Conner for him. For him. Oh. It's not a hatred. It's just I don't believe that he's going to score two touchdowns every week until the end of time. One. Yeah, one, it's, one's it's fair. Based on him, it's based <laughs> one, on score two. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> he just gets like eight attempts. It's like eight attempts for 30 yards and it's touchdowns. So you're like, oh, nine points, ten I just points. Don't Great know job. What you're getting with more. The RB landscape is oh, insane right Ivy. now. So, like, getting that is like you might be on top of the world right now. You're not in a yeah. dark place I mean, like Justin Rob Doyle is. People chill, are. Chill. People are. <laughs> people are it's going to be a big Trent Norwin game this game. God. I mean, <laughs> Latavius Murray is viable. So. If That's, you tell me Gus Edwards is Latavius Murray, then I can believe it. That was one I was going to um, slightly promote on the leftovers. I just I'm kind of worried about <laughs> just the shock. I know. My <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like I'm I I I I I'd rather I'd by far rather have Gus Edwards than than Latavius yeah, yeah, yeah. Murray. No, he's That's just had, not... I, there's some there sometimes there's a twinge of like something's going on in the back why he doesn't like some player. <laughs> it's like, not just because his okay. production, production on the field. I just right. you know, <laughs> I, I turned it down. So now if he does great, I look stupid for not trading for him. No, that's the well, one I thing feel you, like, said, you said. The word yeah. great. No one's expecting anything. The word great great for Gus Edwards but like if you're yeah. getting like 10 carries 38 yards in a touchdown you, or all fall in three, yeah he's falling he's not doing it's crazy um that's what I wanted Ramondre to be this year maybe that's my maybe points that's per fall in you, you, you were mad about his like carries right Seahawks he had five carries 52 yards and two touchdowns yes unsustainable that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. last game he had 11 for 24 in a touch he's also that's getting fine. these random you got to get over 40 yards like not do on you? five rushes. I don't. Think I don't you know. Do. You don't, that team is moving though. They're no, getting to the goal line. Hundred percent accurate. You do need to get four yards to be an effective <laughs> running back. Uh, sorry, I don't know why I said no there. Number two though, he is averaging four point one yards a carry. Yeah. Okay. And you Just forgot about his receiving numbers are very good this That's year as the well. Part I'm confused by. What? When was he ever pass catching? Well, back? there's just nobody there. Yeah, and Justice well, Hill's there's no better there. time than now. All right. And he's doing it. All right. I just let's... think you're you're a slight hater. <laughs> yeah. He's a six score darling because everybody he picked is. him up because we didn't like J.K. Dobbins this year because of his past and issues. So I think you need to. Everybody else is on the bus, okay? And we haven't left the bus stop the, yet. So I'm I'm mad that I missed out on drafting him as an insurance policy that I went with Samaj P. Ryan instead because it's mm. not the right move. Thought that was going to be something though. Thought that was that we all that was also it was also a darling, but we kind of kicked him to the curb, kicked him off the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Payton just gets all his old former Saints and then doesn't use them. Like Troutman, little Jordan Humphrey, you're waiting for Humphrey him to caught the ball. I saw him. He did catch <laughs> he the ball. Caught the ball. Uh, Mims, we'll talk about the Broncos real quick because they actually look viable like a football yeah. team, like a real football oh, team. Shout uh, out Russell Wilson. He got me a win. Well, I, they, earlier in the year, they had like a high school Derek Carr and I yeah. chose against it for Russell Oh, Wilson. yeah. Derek Carr move. was not good this week. Uh, yeah. And that not, that's what we're talking before before he left the game. But yeah, well, it was... It's it was also gross. Russell Wilson has been way better than what people think. Yeah. I think it, now it's 18 touchdowns 18 and, four, and four. four. That's mm -hmm. really was, good. Yeah, he's a yeah. lot better than what he was last year. I think that's still burned in everybody's mind how just horrible yes, that right. went last year. See, uh, that's one thing in fantasy you can't do that. CMC was the same yeah. way. You guys were... There were a lot of people in fantasy community Turn a couple years ago were just like, oh my God, I can't deal with him three, two years in a row. Like, totally understand. You get burnt when you spend big capital on someone that gets hurt and you don't have five games with him, right? But and every year is new. And if it's not an injury that's not lingering, it's not an ACL, it's not Achilles, something that's like going to detriment to him going further, you just need to pick it up and go again. If it was a hamstring injury and he missed four games the rest of the year, you're going to draft him again next year. The hamstrings, there's, it's not there. Again, it's in his body, but it's not like bothering him. <laughs> Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, no, but just from fantasy, I think we get stuck on that and these uh, stigmatisms that we're like, oh, this guy's really bad. And it's like Russell Wilson was historically bad last year, especially when you think about the money was spent, everything that was moved around, like like all the parts that the um, Seahawks um, got in the return killed the trade. Right. But 100 percent wasn't Nath Nathaniel Hackett's fault, though. It was all Russell's fault. It has to be a combination of more than one person. <laughs> I didn't see Nathaniel Hackett throwing the ball anywhere. Yeah. So. But it, it was that team, like I told you, it was built for a different quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, and um, yeah. they didn't get him. So 
they had to build off, you know, the next big quarterback they got. They did land a, you know, a, a whale. They got a really good quarterback, but it wasn't right for that system yet. Has anybody ever thought that Nathaniel Hackett can't coach a quarterback named Wilson? Mm. Just try a different mm. name. No, nope. nope. That's not, yeah. You, oh, I, I'm sure every Jets fan in the world wants them to try a different name. I <laughs> every promise Packer you that. Every fan knows that's wrong. <laughs> 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 they all know he did. <laughs> yeah. Else. Uh, you mentioned CMC. We should probably say this in in, in reference to you. You've kind of like that people freaking out and like like having yeah. a burned image. He didn't score a touchdown last week. Don't panic, CMC owners. Okay, I'm just saying he'll like find it, the end zone again. This he'll year. probably get back to there. So just don't like panic. Trade him. Don't drop him. It was seven, you know? seventeen weeks. Yeah, right? just yeah. seventeen. Uh, but yeah, he's off. He, he hasn't. He didn't score last week. So you're probably disappointed and probably wondering should I even keep him? But yeah, I would say probably keep him. I would say yeah, don't dump him. Don't dump yeah. him just yet. He's still got a still got some value for you. That's I remember it. in the, our last show we we wrapped it up with uh, picking which rookie quarterback would uh, do the best, and I don't know who won, but I know who lost, and it was me with you Clayton, Clayton Tune. <laughs> but also someone had Jaron Hall, so no. like arguably Clayton Tune is J- better than Jaron Hall. Uh, Jaron Hall won his start, bro. He got a, he had a start <laughs> win as a starter. So you tell was me, funny. was the other one Aiden O'Connell? Yeah, I'm going to say I did. You did, beat you guys yeah. did win. You did by a lot. One got beat like he got a concussion the first couple plays. Tune, got a win. Got, Tune. Didn't get a win. Shut Tune, out. Nope. <laughs> Tune didn't lead to any points, and Aiden did. He didn't have a big bar to beat both of those quarterbacks. Jaron Hall. Jaron Hall led them to more points than Clayton Tune did, and he got concussed on that drive. That's it. That's it. That's all you needed to know. I needed his rushing yards. I was so upset. He, oh, he, was, he, on, he was on the way to them. <laughs> I really did. But I really did want to see Jaron Hall play some football. But I but what he, we got from Dobbs that game was awesome. He sustained Puka in school. They were a very good tandem together. Like BYU was a dy- dynamic passing attack um, in college with those two. But yeah, Hall is probably never going to see the field this year, unfortunately. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. That's Are over. you starting Dobbs over Trevor Lawrence? Yep. You, oh yeah, you should, play, if you have Dobbs, you play the Dobbs game. Play the Dobbs game. What quarterback are you going to play over Dobbs? Like how high are we going on yeah, that? Yeah, that's list? what I mean. Do it. Go. Definitely okay. I, yeah. So you said Lawrence. I mean, I'm thinking like like Gino. You're 100 percent playing over. Gino, right? Gino had a good. Yeah. Gino had a good week last week, but I'm still though. starting Dobbs. Dobbs. I'm starting yeah. Dobbs <laughs> over Sam Howell. Nope, I can't do that. I love Sam Howell. Like honestly, mm, I would probably do it. I'd do it. No. I, I I might be <laughs> yeah. in on that. I have a different love for him. I guess. Yeah. I just Dobbs feel like over Fields. If you yeah. have Fields yeah. and you picked up Dobbs and you're like waiting for first fields game to back, back for you're Fields, Josh Dobbs this week and maybe Fields later. Right? Yeah, I would do that. So. I would I would hedge. I'd do the Dobbs and and just kind of figure like right out now, what's going Titans, on Fields. Levis starting Dobbs, Chargers Herbert. Yeah, that's whatever. Love hundred percent, hundred percent. Right? No, then Orvin Jordan Love. Yeah, sorry, Tommy, Justin. Tommy DeVito. We don't even need to speak yes. on that. Yeah, uh, Raiders. He's starting you're too over far up, down on the list. You're too far down on the you list, bro. You got to go uh, higher. I'm just, going off, I'm just going off the schedule. We're not okay, going okay, I'm going, okay. Ske- I'm going to order in the schedule. Raiders, <laughs> O'Connell, beat him, right? Got He's him. Got a process. Tua, n- no, right? No. Cardinals, yes. Kyler, maybe, maybe over Kyler. I'm starting to move. Not Kyler. later. We're talking about right now. Right now, yeah. Stroud, we know the answer to that. Goff, Goff is better, right? Goff is better. Goff's better. Can't I can't not start golf if I got golf I'm going in. I'm looking at this Steelers Browns game. Both teams, both need teams, them. both yeah. teams. Need them. Yeah. yeah, one actually, one actually had them. The Browns yeah. early in the year, so that's, that's unfortunate. Let's say, let's there. say Purdy, Purdy. What about Purdy? Yes, oh, yeah. Starting over Purdy. And this is a Niners game. Purdy? I keep on yeah. pointing to Justin. I mean, <laughs> that guy. <You> curve <laughs> that guy. <laughs> no, that's a key one. And then you got Panthers. Yes, I know Young eventually is gonna, but yeah, right now you're starting Dobbs. Uh, Buccaneers is an interesting one. Mayfield was not a lot of people were on that. He's making Mike He's Evans a superstar. A Justin's over there shaking his head. He still wants Dobbs. It looks Dobbs, like it's Dobbs, fine. Dobbs, Dobbs. So right now he's a top like eight quarterback right now. That's yeah. <laughs> I was like counting on my. He fingers. literally yeah, is. Like he's a he, yeah. you're not starting him over. It's so that Dobbs stat wise is a QB one. It's Konami code right now. He's doing the rushing. He's doing he's doing every game God, is two the, and one. It's the rushing that really does it too. Because yeah, know he's how getting he, like he keeps everything and like runs a touchdown in every week. Yeah, he's getting like forty in a touch like every week right now. Yeah, like on the ground. And he's That's like awesome. switching teams. Justin he's, Jefferson's about to be back. Like he probably wants to come back yeah. now. They're they're a point that they're going to grab a wild card. Um, Cousins is not going to be the Rogers situation. He's not coming back this year. But it's like a situation that they can win now. And there's they don't need to worry about draft pick. Right, just win. Sorry, we don't. Do we really think 
Rogers is coming back this year. Oh, what, come on! Look what, look what percentage he's owned in fantasy leagues. Like people are uh, holding on hope for the fantasy playoffs, let alone what is the regular per, what playoffs. Is the percentage, Rogers, for the I fantasy mean, playoffs, you make it to the fantasy playoffs, and you're going to start one Achilles Rogers <laughs> in the playoffs with your with your team on I'm the not line. Advising the strategy, and you have to account for people that just didn't check their lineup after they he got knocked out. But I'm sure that's his a own, seventeen. Weeks. I'm sure his own percentage is like <laughs> mid 30s something like that. No thanks. Uh, no, I I'm think he's definitely that. coming back, but it's not for fantasy relevance, really. Yeah. I want to see it. Uh, trust me. I want to see the spectacle. I want to. I want to. See, I, I and I also want to see the medical records, which I can't. We can't legally see. But uh, if he comes back never, and actually, <laughs> if he comes back and actually plays football, there's there's some tomfoolery going on. All right. I, some some would say maybe witchcraft. And Rogers, seventeen percent owned in my Yahoo league, so I was a little lofty of the expectations. Because I mean, it's not. A, just, he's not fantasy relevant. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a, back too late. December is yeah. too late. Like, if, if anything, it's like a mascot. Like he's still like the, it's going to be the end of December, early January. You're not even playing fantasy football anymore. You might be like some weird playoff one, Zach, you know. But Zach Wilson, seven percent owned, just for just uh, for, uh, <laughs> that's that's embarrassing. Uh, you shouldn't. There's a one QB league. There's so 30, yeah. There's 32 <laughs> quarterbacks. You should have like less. You shouldn't have him yeah. ever, right? <laughs> but to be fair, IR spots. It is free to keep Rogers. You but just like a like, a, like an honorary. I'll place you here and I'll win it for you. You know, one if of those things. Have, if you're like debating, oh, right. this guy, this guy just got hurt. I need to put put him on. Oh, IR. you take just, him out. Just yeah. drop Rogers, please. Yeah. 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 All right. Anyways, no more Rogers talk. I can't do I this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we try to avoid it every show, and then somehow it spills out, rears its ugly head. If All it right, happens, though, we will talk about it a lot uh, oh, if it comes back. But there will be many a pod. Gross. <laughs> All right, get me, get me out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, thanks, everyone. Good luck in your matchups this week. We'll catch you next week. Are we doing this? I don't know. Veterans Day? It's, it's past 30, though.